Hi everyone, today I'm gonna tell you about why I sleep on the floor. When I was starting to think about sleeping on the floor and if that was an option for me in all of this, I couldn't really find a lot of information about it. The only information I could find was basically people sleeping on futons and sleeping on basically just a blanket. I couldn't really find a lot of people talking about sleeping on a mattress on the floor. So, floor sleepers. Here we go. I've always slept in a bed, so I'd never really thought about sleeping on a mattress and like how that would be. But it started when I moved out of my previous flat where I had my own furniture and I sold my bed the day before I moved out. So the last day I just slept on my mattress on the floor and I thought it was so cozy. I loved it. I loved it so much. It felt like I was camping or I, like I was on a trip or something. It felt really cute and exciting. So I just decided like the next time I move into an unfurnished flat, I am not gonna buy a bed. So. I didn't, and this is where I sleep. A huge pro to sleeping on the floor is that it's a lot cheaper because beds are expensive. Beds are also hard to put together and to assemble. This takes a lot of effort. With a mattress, you literally just put the mattress on the floor. And if you're wondering about mattress maintenance and whatever, I thought that I would have to get some kind of like underlay and, you know, put the mattress up to the wall often so that it could like air out or whatever. And I was worried about bugs and all this, but literally no issues. Another huge pro about not having a bed is that it's one less bulky item to own. Having huge items in a city like London, the thought of having to move stuff or get rid of stuff when you're moving, the fewer things they have to like really worry about, the better. It's also good for me to not have that many bulky items because I live in a studio flat, so it's less space that's taken up by an item because you do need some, you know, free air space and there's more of it because I don't have a bulky bed. Another little perk is that it's actually cooler down by the floor than in a bed. It's not the biggest of differences, but we do get heat waves here in England every freaking summer and it helps because I cannot deal with this heat. Another thing that might sound kind of weird, but it is that I don't want under bed storage. Now there's nowhere I can just, you know, slide things away, stick them under the bed and pretend they don't exist. I don't want that. It just gives me anxiety to think that there's loads of things hidden away that I clearly don't even use that much because they're stuffed underneath the bed. So I don't want that. In my last flat, I would just shove everything under the bed and literally I would just find stuff under there that I didn't need and didn't even know I had. It was just so full of stuff and it's also so cluttered and no, I'm not saying if you have a bed you're automatically just gonna shove lots of things under there, but I don't even want to have the option. I don't know, I like the way this looks because of the minimalistic look to it. A lot of people make fun of me when they walk in here and they're like, where's your bed? And also it's more noticeable because I am in a studio flight and this also doubles as my couch, that's why I have so many cushions. I would not have cushions on my bed if it wasn't for the fact that that is my couch. Having cushions on a bed is just useless and the biggest perk of them all, there are no sharp edges to hit my toes on. I'm not joking, that is a huge perk. That is it. If you have any questions about sleeping on the floor, feel free to ask them because I know there's not enough people talking about it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up and I shall see you next Friday. Keep up the good vibes. Bye. I feel like that would have been a wasted opportunity if I didn't do it. <laughs>